Coleman here on day number one for the LA Curve. We just saw Beryl Gastadello get the win in the women's 50 backstroke. But Ryan Murphy comes onto the pool deck in lane number four. And I would think that everybody is on notice after he scored 24 points in the 200 backstroke. And he did the same thing a week ago, Rowdy, in this event. He's currently our MVP leader. And this event, he's even better. 0.9, that's the, that's the time you want to see between first, which we think is going to be Ryan Murphy, and everybody else. This could be huge for the current. And remember, if the men win that medley relay, you'll see him swim this again tomorrow. You don't want to miss that skins race. And somehow, he's rated as the number two swimmer overall in this event. Eighth overall, you see that number right next to him. A little slow coming up on the block, but quick off the block, 0.51, faster than anybody else. Shane Ryan, though, looks pretty good out there in lane number seven, swimming for the Toronto Titans. He doesn't want to have his points stolen away. Shane Ryan's thinking jackpot as well. Down at the bottom. It is tight for the win. Oh, Ryan they holds tie. on. They tie. ties with Ryan. Ryan Murphy, Shane Ryan. That's unexpected. That was something I definitely wasn't expecting. I mean, Murph, you knew he was going to have a good one. He was 22 9 the first weekend. A little bit slower, but give credit to Shane Ryan who again is the first time we've seen him this year. So you don't know a lot about what these new teams are going to do. Thormeyer was in there. Excuse me, Kawamoto, check that. Kawamoto was one tenth of a second behind Murphy and Ryan. Well, Toronto, they need some points. And the good news for the rest of the field is that Ryan Murphy didn't snatch 24. But the current still on top.